talking king snakes, the Mexican black king snake is wildly popular. Although its care can be a little overwhelming at times for beginners, this can be made easier if you arm yourself with the proper information before you take the deep dive into ownership. In this video guide, we will cover the basics. This includes proper handling skills, the ins and outs of feeding, proper tank size, setup, etc. We will also briefly discuss the origins of the Mexican black king snake and detail its very unique and striking appearance. We hope you enjoy this content and find it helpful, especially if you are considering owning a Mexican black king snake in the near future. Before we jump headfirst into the pool of detailed ownership information, let's begin with appearance. What does the Mexican black king snake look like? As is the case with many snakes, appearance can define popularity. While most people want a calm snake that can be easily handled and cared for, appearance does go a long way. Let's be honest, you want your snake to look cool. Well, in that regard, the Mexican black king snake is all about the cool factor. Sporting a deep black color with some hints of chocolate brown, this particular snake has the same color pattern all over its body. When young, it's common for the Mexican black king snake to have yellow spots on some of its scales that will share the space with the gorgeous black and chocolate brown. The Mexican may also sport some white or yellow dots under its chin. These markings will gradually fade with each shedding. Aside from its striking color scheme, the Mexican black king snake has small rounded eyes that are dark brown or black. In respect to size and length, this particular snake is quite slender for its size, going to three or four feet, five at the top end. The width of the snake is not terribly impressive, which can be a good thing for novice owners. The core width of the Mexican black king snake is found in its midsection. Generally speaking, the head is the same width as the neck. A slight taper is found in the tail. Arizona, California, and Mexico are home to the Mexican black king snake. The Sonoran Desert is their primary home. The Sonoran covers parts of Arizona, California, and a portion of northwestern Mexico. Because mice and shrews reside in this blistering environment, the Mexican black king snake can survive as tiny mammals are the primary food source for many constrictors. Learning to adapt to the desert, the Mexican black king snake knows how to hide. When the desert environment reaches peak levels, the king snake will burrow and hide in cooler locations. When it comes to proper care, it's vital to begin with the proper enclosure guidelines. Your snake's survival will depend on it. From size, substrate, heating, lighting, humidity, and temperature, food, and water, all of these aspects must come together properly in order to ensure that your snake is comfortable and remains healthy. We now offer you this beneficial care sheet. Information will appear on screen. Feel free to pause the video at any time. This is especially true if you wish to take notes.
In order to keep your snake healthy and happy, it all begins with a proper tank and solid setup. Your snake's enclosure has to be the right size. If the enclosure is too small, your snake will become more and more cramped over time. Tight enclosures can cause any snake to become stressed and potentially fall victim to ill health. You never want to make your snake's home feel like a trap. If you acquired your pet when it was very young, you will have to go through an assortment of enclosures during the growth and aging process. Hatchling, juvenile, and adult comprise the trio. If you purchase your king snake as a hatchling, a small plastic tub should get the job done. As your snake grows and moves into the juvenile stage, a 10-gallon tank is in order. During the adult stage, increase that number to 20 gallons. Supplying your snake with enrichment is also key. An effort to recreate their natural environment is very important. Give them a few items to occupy their interest. Also supply at least one hide for your king snake. As a side note, if you would like to know more about Mexican black king snake breeding and all that it entails, please be sure to click the initial link in the description box below. If you are watching this video directly from our YouTube platform, if you are already on site, please search within the article. Please scroll accordingly to find these informative sections. As noted in our on-screen care guide, the temperature of your snake's enclosure can serve as a make it or break it when it comes to your snake's proper health. Because the Mexican black king snake originates from a desert environment, keeping its enclosure warm is paramount. A cool enclosure has the potential to pose a series of health issues, lack of proper digestion being just one. On the other end of the spectrum, an enclosure that is too hot can become a breeding ground for bacteria. Mouth rot and scale rot can develop if your snake's environment is far too hot for them to handle. An ambient temperature of 75 to 80 degrees is ideal, with a nice basking area of 88 to 90. All heating and lighting elements should be placed on the warmer side of the enclosure. At night, you can allow the natural ambient temperature to enter the low 70s. It's quite easy to properly heat your snake's enclosure. The core reason is courtesy of the many high quality options that are available. The most common source of heat comes from a heat mat or heat pad. This sits directly underneath one half of the enclosure. Heat tape is also an option. Instead of a pad, heat tape is simply an area of roll-on non-sticky plastic. Heat tape is ideal for your king snake, but it's also ideal if you have multiple snakes in various enclosures. The use of a ceramic heat bulb is also an option. This device provides the warmth of a regular light bulb, just minus the light. It only provides the heat. If you're curious, you could use a regular light bulb, as it will provide a source of heat. While this technique as a form of heating goes against the grain just a bit, it is indeed an option. What about the cool side of life? How do I ensure that my Mexican black king snake has a place to relax and cool down? Hides. As mentioned briefly, when discussing enclosure setups, providing at least one hide for your snake not only gives them a place to cool down, but, as the name suggests, hide. This somewhat mimics their natural environment. Placing a hide in the cool part of the enclosure only serves to enhance the feature. Hides can also help your snake to shed properly. By placing a cool, damp towel inside the hide, this quote-unquote moist hide will help to loosen skin. It's impossible to talk hot and cold without discussing humidity and what it truly means to your snake. Health concerns such as improper shedding, bacteria growth, respiratory infections, etc. can come on the heels of incorrect humidity levels. Ideally, your king snake needs humidity between 40 and 60 percent. 50 is the core number. Thanks to a hygrometer, you can keep an eye on humidity percentages and make sure the number is in the proper range. Due to the role performed by a hygrometer and the critical nature of proper humidity, no snake owner should ever go without one. In order to maintain proper humidity levels, add water to the equation. Whether it be in the form of a spray bottle with a quick spritz, an automatic misting system, or an existing bowl of water inside of the enclosure, these are all good ways to maintain proper humidity. Placing your snake in a humid area of your home can also do the trick. Different king snake species are in need of different substrates. 
Everything depends on the snake's natural environment. When it comes to the Mexican black king snake, a dry substrate is needed. Aspen shavings, cypress mulch, and newspaper are perfectly fine. However, be sure to change the substrate as soon as possible when it gets too wet. Snakes love to burrow, so it's also important to add plenty of substrate once you've made your choice. It's common for Mexican black king snakes to regulate their temperature by means of burrowing and basking. One to two inches of substrate is recommended. As a general rule, snakes don't require their own lighting. If you keep them in a room with a window that provides natural light, that alone is usually more than enough. However, there are occasions when lighting is beneficial and needed. If your snake is in a wooden enclosure, or if your snake is in a room with no windows, and if by chance you reside in a dramatically different part of the world where daylight is absent for long periods of time. Parts of Alaska would be a good example. If light is simply not available, therefore artificial light within your snake's enclosure is a must, a small light should do the trick. However, as we've noted, in most cases this simply will not apply, as ample light from the room itself, via natural or artificial lighting, should be more than enough. Cleaning your Mexican black king snake's enclosure is fairly simple. Simply check your snake's enclosure daily for soiled substrate. If moisture of any kind is spotted, simply rid the enclosure of that portion of substrate. Once every 30 days, you should also disinfect the enclosure. This can be achieved by removing your snake and placing it in a tub or smaller, quote-unquote, emergency-style enclosure while you disinfect. As long as you follow the instructions of your reptile-specific cleaning solution, you should be good to go. Once complete, be sure to supply the entire enclosure with fresh substrate. When it comes to proper handling, it really all comes down to the proper do's and don'ts. Getting used to your snake and allowing them to get used to you is the first positive step in the process. The best way to do this is to stand next to your snake's enclosure without making loud noises or sudden movements and then calmly, yet confidently, reach your hand inside and get a feel for their reaction. If your snake gets defensive, slowly remove your hand. However, if they begin to flick their tongue at you, this means they're checking you out to find out whether or not you're a threat. Once this occurs, you can attempt to pick them up and move them out of their enclosure. If you sense they're not comfortable, just try again tomorrow. In this regard, it's all about developing trust, the same type of trust that you must acquire from any pet. It's all a learning process, for you and for the snake. If you really need to get them out and they still refuse, use a snake hook. As it relates to the proper ways to hold your snake, gentle yet secure is the best road to travel. Support your Mexican black king snake under their body while you handle them. Make no sudden movements. Allow your snake to relax and always give them respect. Do not squeeze. Mexican black king snakes are non-venomous constrictors, so this can allow you a bit more freedom when it comes to the learning curve. As for some key don'ts, don't handle them when they're expecting food. They could mistake your hands for a meal. Don't reach in and remove them from their enclosure if they're scared, withdrawn, or outwardly defensive. This will not end well for you or the snake. Actions such as these can also set a negative tone for future attempts. When it comes to the positive actions, do handle your snake at least twice per week. While you want them to get used to you, you also don't want them to freak out and keep them stressed. There's a fine line, and two or three handlings per week is the sweet spot. Spend time with your snake that doesn't involve complex handling or feeding. Positive attention is key as it builds trust and can lead to positive interaction in the future, especially when handling and or feeding. Think of these actions as a testing ground and preparation ground for future involvement. Not really. Generally speaking, no snake that is suitable to be a pet will be naturally aggressive, meaning aggressive for no obvious reasons. Captive bred snakes are not aggressive simply because they're used to being around people. However, there is something known as cage aggression. This form of defense posturing can make it difficult for an owner to remove their snake from its enclosure without a hook. Cage aggression is typically a response that is born from a lack of attention. If you're a feed and done type of owner, your snake will never be able to develop a trusting relationship with you. 
Cage aggression is your snake's response to, more or less, perpetually viewing you as a stranger. If you fail to handle your king snake properly, they are liable to bite you. This is the case for most every pet snake. If you push a snake to its anxiety limit and it begins to feel threatened, the fangs will surely come out. If your king snake happens to bite you, it's important to remain calm. Simply hold the snake where the neck and head meet. Gently push downwards towards the bite location. This will naturally force the snake's teeth to release. Place the snake back in its enclosure. Use the hook if you feel as though you need more security. The next step in the process is to rinse and clean the bite location thoroughly with soap, water, and the necessary disinfectants. Apply a bandage to the wound as to prevent infection. If the bite gets worse in the coming days, please follow up with a visit to your doctor as soon as possible. This could be a sign of infection and a course of antibiotics will likely be required. And on that final note of information and advice that will conclude things for this video. If you enjoyed this content, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us now on site at snakesforpets.com or directly from our YouTube channel, we'd love to have you join our community. We provide fresh content on a regular basis, so hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. Question time. Do you currently own a Mexican Black King Snake? Are you in the market to buy one? If you can answer yes to either question, we encourage you to share your story, comments, and pose your questions in the section below. Dialogue is key. If current owners have something to offer that could potentially help future owners, that would be fantastic. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.